Taking one last look of your Sunday, we were slightly below average for this time of the year, especially for that morning low, only two degrees. A lot more different though for the afternoon high, only 14, so only off by eight, but nowhere near the record of 48 that occurred in 2003 or negative 25 back in 1968. And we are already up to eight hours and 50 minutes of daylight. Looking at today's highs, we are starting to improve when it comes to that thermometer. Thanks to that southerly flow, 20 degrees was really topped out in Marquette, 21 in Iron Mountain, 23 in Munising, still hanging on to those upper teens further towards the west, 18 in Ontonagon and 19 in Houghton. But looking at those winds, that southerly flow has really helped, uh, you know, pump in some of that warmer air and really make those temperatures get out of those single digits and teens that we were seeing throughout the week and now getting closer towards 20. And even tomorrow, we're gonna see even nicer temperatures. More out of the southeast in Ironwood at five, out of the east at three in Houghton, but relatively light winds all throughout, seven in Munising out of the southwest. But we have a lot of weather to talk about, especially for the first half of the work week. We are gonna be, be dealing with two disturbances, one coming in tonight, and then there's another one that's gonna come in on Wednesday going into Thursday. That's really gonna increase those snow chances, especially tomorrow. We'll see them more scattered going into Wednesday and Thursday, but still, it's really gonna be a good amount of snow for the next couple of days until really we see some improvements by the time we go into your Friday with high pressure in control. Also, in the meantime, we will also see those temperatures kind of rocking a little bit between going up and down and up and down once again. But going back to your Sunday a little more closely, especially towards the Keweenaw Peninsula and into the western UP, we did get a little bit of snow. Painesdale got 5.2, Houghton at 4.5, Mass City at 4, and Ironwood at 2 inches. But in the moment, we are dealing with some winter weather advisories. Some of these are already starting as we speak. Some of them are going to start throughout the overnight, but most of them will continue at least until tomorrow evening, and that's indicated in the white color. And these actually extend from Iron County all the way towards the Sioux. So it's really going to be a really messy Tuesday all throughout the UP, but it's going to be downright, downright miserable, especially if you are going downstate into lower Michigan. And in just a moment, I'll explain why, but at least when it comes to the advisory, accumulations could be up to eight inches of snow. Now here's the setup for Tuesday, especially when it comes to lower Michigan, they're gonna see the brunt of this system because they're not gonna see just snow like we are. That's the only, one of the few positives we'll be seeing out of this system. The, for them, unfortunately, they could be seeing snow and then eventually rain, which will create a lot more icy condition on the roads for both Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday with that second disturbance. T further towards the south, especially to very southern lower Michigan, they could also be dealing with rain. So it's gonna be a very tricky setup if you are gonna be planning to go downstate. So in a way, we are kind of lucky, at least we're only gonna stick to one type of precipitation type compared to our neighbors towards the south. Going into your Wednesday, we'll see a little bit of an improvement, but by the time we go into your Wednesday night into your Thursday, we'll see that second system kick in, and that second system is actually going to be a little bit stronger when it comes to that, those temperatures. It's really going to knock those temperatures back down to the single digits like we were seeing this previous weekend, but really when it comes to a lot of that mixed precipitation, it's going to be downstate for both this system and the next. So. It's going to be a rough week if you are going to be traveling throughout the Wolverine State. For tonight, though, 17 degrees. Snow will begin to pick up, especially after midnight, with those winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking into your Tuesday, we continue to have that southerly flow, and that's really going to help those temperatures climb even further than they did today, hovering close to that 30-degree mark, especially along Lake Superior, 29 in Houghton, 28 in Ontonagon. Further towards the south where the advisories are, we can actually go above freezing, 34 in Crystal Falls and Florence. And as we go a little bit more towards the east, 36 in Munising, 31 in Escanaba. Looking at your day planner, the sun is going to start rising a little bit earlier now at 8.32 a.m. and temperatures are really gonna drop a bit going into tomorrow night as that first cold front passes its way through, but it's really gonna be that second cold front that's gonna be reminiscent of what we saw the last couple of days. As you can see, eight degrees on Friday. The good news is sunshine will be in control as high pressure, as high pressure pushes further towards the east, a little more that that warmer air begins to come in for the second half of the weekend.